Hey guys, if you're watching this, it's too late. <laughs> no, it's not too late, but. If you're watching this, you have already seen my first trimester and my second trimester. It is with great regret that I'm here to inform you that all the footage from my third trimester is deleted. I'm talking about ever since the 27th and 28th weeks of my pregnancy. I have been recording once or twice a week, sometimes more. Giving you guys updates on all of my symptoms, all of my updates, belly bump dates, um, doctor's appointments, sonograms. <sighs> moments that I will literally never get back. And today was my maternity shoot, so that's why my makeup was done. And my hair is looking frizzy now, but it was looking cute before. They all deleted. They all deleted because I lent my photographer my SD card. And she accidentally... She's the godmother to my baby, so, like, I'm not, like, mad at it. But I am very sad. Like, I cried a little bit because I really just wanted those memories um, you have to make space for old stuff to get new stuff. Things happen. Everything happens for a reason. Mistakes are made. It was an accident. So basically, she took the whole photo shoot on my SD card. And then when she put it up into her laptop, she formatted the SD card. So everything on the SD card got erased. And I cried. And I was really sad. And then I just thought about it. And I was like, I could just explain it to you guys. Like, that'll be... 28 29 30 31 32 six weeks worth of footage but we still have seven weeks in my third trimester to go so like it is what it is my mom took a beautiful picture of me crying though she usually gets picked like pictures of me crying really well but this is one of the photos taken on my polaroid this is another picture it's so freaking cute. Boy, I don't even know what to say. We got there, photo shoot. Yeah, we we're took the photo 30 minutes, shoot. We're an hour in. We're two hours in because we ended up booking. Okay. I'm like a little disappointed too. Kind of like a griefy feeling because book. Like, I had really cute videos so yeah t two days ago i filmed me not feeling so well at all and i wanted to just let you guys know that like you're not alone when you feel like that in pregnancy and then yesterday i felt great so i was filming that and just letting you guys know that like things get better and then this happens and honestly i'm really proud of myself for not crying continuously but i can't even begin to tell you all of the stuff that's happened in the last couple of weeks because I literally don't <laughs> remember because I had the footage, you know? In my third trimester, the worst that's happened is I had a little more round ligament pain, extremely severe um, tailbone and sciatica nerve pain um, to the point where I would have to like limp or I couldn't really walk. I just had to stretch and use my yoga ball all because I had to like stretch it out a lot. I had a doctor's appointment at my 32... 32 weeks and six days which was just like two or three days ago um with my doula and she gave me a whole folder full of resources and things that i should read i also filmed when i was 31 weeks just going back in time i took my first birth class that i said i had i had said i wanted to start before it's eight classes i paid for it in my first trimester so those classes um the first one made me cry because they showed a natural birth damn i had such cute fit footage this was a picture the day that i started my third trimester vlog i took a picture of my cute little outfit um december 11th the holidays were nice i got to oh i filmed that too i got to quarantine um not because we were sick or anything but because we didn't want to get sick you know being around family and stuff being around a lot of people one can get sick i'll just put some pictures of my third trimester because i did take a lot more pictures this time than before 
um, I was able to put up my first trimester vlog while I'm in my third trimester. And that was a lot of fun. Editing it. I should have just edited everything I had so far. But it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. Then I started planning for my maternity shoot. So my maternity shoot, we were going to DIY it. I wanted it to be outside. I couldn't do it outside because it's winter time. And then we were going to like diy it in my uncle's house and stuff but we did, wouldn't have had the right lighting so then i finally found on peer space a studio in brooklyn that was really nice and that's where i had a maternity shoot today so when we went there initially the time was booked for two and a half hours started at 4 30 at around 6 30 we decided that we needed more time so i hit up the host and i asked for an extra hour he was cool with it and then we kept taking pictures and it was really nice we did two looks i wanted to do more looks but we took a lot of pictures with my partner it was me and him i was wearing like a beautiful black dress black off the shoulder one strap dress with like rhinestones across the top hem and then he wore a white button down with some black pants honestly guys i'm a little overwhelmed because i keep thinking about all the footage that was lost um my tears like my emotions my process that i that i went through this whole entire time i mean i have a lot to film still because i still plan on filming a little bit of my baby shower um my nesting i haven't i haven't nested so it's not like i lost that i did lose my moving vlog which was kind of part of the pregnancy journey um which that's something i'll definitely not get back but it's just crazy I did feel very beautiful today. I did my own makeup, by the way. Um, I had like really pretty lip glosses on. I even filmed like this morning, getting ready for the photo shoot. His little face. See how cute that is? Part of the footage that was lost was actually me having like a mini breakdown because like 28, 29 weeks, I was supposed to have an appointment with my midwife and she kept like rescheduling and changing my appointment. So, at one point, I was just really sad because I thought I wasn't going to be able to get my baby checked out and stuff. And, um, I ended up, like, fighting, not fighting, but, like, hysterically crying on the phone with whoever schedules appointments because there was, like, a strike going on with the nurses in the hospitals that I just wasn't going to be able to see my baby over sonogram. So, they made an exception for me and told me to just come in that day and that's when i got this sonogram at 35 weeks was the last time that i got a sonogram for my baby i haven't gotten any more sonograms um they said that that's the last time but yeah that was like one thing that i filmed that i missed out on because i was like really deep in my bag but everything's okay now so yeah he was sucking his thumb that i do have a fibroid and it grew a little bit not significantly enough to like worry us or anything this is the folder that my doula gave me it has a lot of papers i haven't started it but it has a lot of information on what i've told her i want my birth plan to have so far which is nice because she listens the third trimester is definitely more emotional than the second trimester i am out of breath so often like i've been talking right now and i'm already out of breath also it's emotional like i can tell that i'm naturally emotional like naturally things just make me want to cry but something that i learned today and that i realized today about myself is that even though i'm really sad about something um or like something will affect me emotionally i've been able to manage my reactions and my feelings a lot better than i ever could have or than i ever have in my life so far which is very promising because i be spazzing out and today like when i realized that my footage was gone i literally just like stared at my family <laughs> i literally stared at them i literally froze because i didn't know what to do I froze and I was just like I'm hungry I just want to eat something I was super super just fucking stuck like I've been having a lot of body issues <sighs> like body dysmorphia kind of not really because excuse me I am 
gaining a lot of weight. At the beginning of my pregnancy, it was 139 pounds. I think you guys, uh, I saw the vlog recently, but I forgot. I took 139 pounds with 134. And when I weighed myself, I'm now 174. So I officially gained 40 pounds and I'm not even done growing. And I showed you guys some of my stretch marks, but obviously they got deleted from the side. I don't know if you just caught that. I also had a lot of footage of my baby moving, but that footage is gone. And these are the only stretch marks that I had for the majority of my pregnancy. And then I got a lot of stretch marks on my inner thighs and the back of my calves, as well as under oh i have pasties on um under my boobs arm here a big old belly a big beautiful belly where my baby son is currently residing um they say that he should be about four and a half pounds which you know i'm only 33 weeks I'll show you guys the app I can't believe I lost all that footage like <laughs> I really can't believe it like it's just like damn I'm not gonna see the progress of all the weeks that I recorded he is about the size of a celery so. um Oh, he is face down, like head down, so he's not in the breech position anymore, he's not sideways, um, which is really good. A few days ago, I was really sad because I just felt super huge, nothing fit me. It was actually kind of depressing the way that nothing fit me, but I know like my body's just going through changes, and it didn't help to see a picture of me like two years ago being really, really, really skinny. I also developed an ice addiction that was in the vlog. It's called Pika. Excuse me, where you become addicted to something that's not actual food. Some women become addicted to things like clay or eating hair. But my little current addiction is ice. I love ice. The coldness in my mouth. Also chewing it. Just letting it sit on my tongue. So freaking good. Like, I don't think you guys got it. It tells me, like, what happened that week, but it doesn't tell me when the week was. So, like, oh, I think I have it, like, written down in my agenda or something. This was only six weeks ago. I don't even know. I'm just going to keep on um, letting you guys know how everything goes moving forward. I felt really sad because I wasn't going to be able to have the photo shoot, but then we did the photo shoot today, and it's like... I guess in order for me to have the photo shoot, I was supposed to lose all of my footage. It really sucks. It really, really, really sucks. But it literally is what it is. Like, this stuff happens. And it happens all the time. And it could have been way worse to the point where I could have broken my camera or something, God forbid. Or that I lost the SD card and that personal footage could have been anywhere. Um, anything could have happened and I just feel grateful that I have a brand new empty 256 gigabyte SD card that I'm gonna get back tomorrow my god sister did the photo shoot for free that's the baby's god mom my baby my baby's godmother and she was she felt so bad like I know that she feels really bad and like anxious when stuff like that happens so like I didn't want to make her feel worse um I don't want to make her ever feel bad. I can't believe I lost my footage. Like, that was great footage. Like, that was footage that I planned to share with you guys from the beginning. And I'm never going to get it back. I have to accept it. Being pregnant has really helped me mature. I need to take my makeup off. I'm also probably going to just sit and cry and journal a little bit. Because I feel like, oh, I spoke about that too how i haven't really been knowing what to do about certain changes and journaling about it has helped me a lot so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna just keep moving forward and keep swimming because i'm really happy that i got my maternity shoot done i think as awkward as i am 
they came out beautiful beautiful so i'm just excited to experience that i have nothing else to say to you guys i'll be back next week peace out